Thank you very much, Courtney. This time of the year, a lot of us search for a way to get out and enjoy and embrace this cold weather. Cross-country skiing is one of the easiest ways and funnest ways to do it. So we got Buffy joining us again as we talk with Wilderness Supply about uh, why, how to find the skis that are good for you. First off, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk finding the right skis. How do I know which skis I need? Well, people used to measure skis by height, but they found that's not really very effective. And now we measure skis by weight. So okay. the idea is the camber of your ski, you can see here, is this curve. That happens in the ski, how far it is off of the ground. Okay. And what we want is to get the perfect weight so that when we push down on our ski, we push down the whole ski, touches the ground, we get grip, but we don't push so hard that the ski is digging into the snow. Okay, okay. So if you get a ski that's too long for you, this really long ski here, you're not going to push down hard enough. The middle of that ski is not going to be on the ground at all. You're not going to get the slide that you need, okay. You're not going to get any grip. If you get your ski too short, you're going to push down right into the snow and you're not going to have any glide. And if you're not getting that movement that you want, then you're going to have no no, and you're not going to be moving very quickly, and it's a real pain. Okay. Solomon skis make it really easy. Uh, they actually post the weights right on the ski. So you can see this ski here is for 77 to 121 pounds. You want to hit right in the middle of that range if you can. Okay. So find the right ski for your range, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so like uh, my teen tween gets that one, and then as you get bigger and bigger, as you get heavier and heavier, you go through there. Go up to a longer ski. Okay, now there's also some changes when it comes to uh, the ski itself. Uh, Non-waxed and wax skis? Yeah, so we get waxless skis, and this is an example of them here. You can see this scaled bit along the middle here. Mm -hmm. And you get waxable skis, which you see don't have a scaled section at all. Okay. Now with a waxless ski like this one, it's perfect for someone who wants to go out maybe once a weekend or a few times a month. Sure. You don't want to take all the time to put all the effort into waxing your ski every time, figuring out what the temperature is, what you're going to need. So you just take the ski. It's good to go for pretty much any temperature, and it's going to give you the grip that you need. Okay. Now when I get serious... You get to be a serious skier, you definitely need to go for the waxable ski. So this ski, you're going to have to wax before you go out with a wax based on the temperature that you're going to. So we want something that's not going to be too hard when it's too cold or too soft when it's too cold. Exactly. Okay. And you pick your wax for the temperature that you're at. You bring your little waxing kit with you, but that's going to give you the perfect grip for the temperature that you're at. So it's a more nuanced ski. Okay, so when it, but when it comes to uh, most of us just getting out and enjoying the weekend with the kids, we can go waxless. Waxless is way easier for the average skier. Quickly want to touch on, I want to talk about where to ski, but I want to touch on two weekend what to wear because uh, we'd said earlier when you're out and you're just trying to stay warm, that's a different kind of dress than if you're going to be well huffing and puffing on the, on the hills. They've actually shown skiing to be one of the most effective workouts available to anyone of any kind of workout. So it definitely is going to make, raise your body temperature, make you sweat. And if you don't believe her, you've never tried it. That's a simple sign. If you're like, ah, this looks so hard, yeah, you've never done it. Give it a shot. It's yeah. a whole body workout, <laughs> which means that you are going to be sweating and getting really warm. So what you want is something that's windproof on the front. These are special skiing, a special skiing jacket from okay. Solomon that I brought in. So on the front, windproof. On the front is completely windproof so that when you're moving really fast, the wind coming at you doesn't chill you. But on the back of the jacket, this panel is completely breathable. So all of your sweat's going to come right out the back there. It's got a nice little pocket. You can keep your water bottle in there so your water bottle doesn't freeze if it's really cold. Good point. And uh, so you're going to have all that sweat escaping out the back and all the windproof in the front. Okay, uh, there's lots of great ideas when it comes to equipment. Uh, you can find all the links on breakfasttelevision.ca to Wilderness Supply. But you had a great suggestion for Winnipeggers if they want to just try it once there's a golf course in town, right? Yeah, so the Windsor Park Nordic Center is a great place to go if you're just looking to give skiing a try. It's the only place in the city that rents skis. So you can go pay a few dollars, rent skis for the day, and get out on their tracks, give it a shot, see what you think before you invest in a set yourself. There you go, an opportunity to try before you buy. We'll make sure that we get all that information on breakfasttelevision.ca. It could be perfect weather for a ski. Let's check in with the lady who knows. Here's Jenna Conn.